Britain announces £300 million development package for Grenada and other Caribbean countries. This £300 million infrastructure fund is to say, let's make sure we invest in your infrastructure. This story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. Grenada is among eight countries in the Caribbean that will benefit from a £300 million development package to provide grants for infrastructure projects, including roads and bridges. That commitment was given by UK Prime Minister David Cameron during a brief official visit to the country on Wednesday. Mr. Cameron's visit, the first by a British Prime Minister in 14 years, was designed to reinvigorate ties with the Caribbean. Being the first serving British Prime Minister to visit Grenada since independence, he said Britain wants to be a partner to the Caribbean. With regard to the £300 million of grant money that will be given to Grenada and other Caribbean countries, Mr Cameron said Britain has the aid budget and it wants to give a bigger peace to its friends. He added that they want to help create stronger economies and strengthen trade and investment in the Caribbean. This £300 million infrastructure fund is to say, let's make sure we invest in your infrastructure and provide the roads and the ports and the other infrastructure that's necessary for your economies and let's restart and reinvigorate this relationship. Mr Cameron said they also want to spend more in climate financing, hospital and health care and providing more scholarships for people in the Caribbean. During closed-door meetings with government and other officials, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance, Mr. Timothy Antwine, briefed the British PM on Grenada's homegrown program. For Grenada's Prime Minister, Dr. the Right Honourable Keith Mitchell, the visit means a lot for Grenada with regard to infrastructural development. We have a number of infrastructural projects that have been properly written up already and ready to go. And therefore, the fact that we have £300 million available to eight countries in the region um, in, within the next five years, and we do not have to repay any of those monies, we are going to be up and running. And therefore, I want to thank Prime Minister. Thank and oh, it's not, uh, it's no longer mother and children, it's, it's <laughs> brothers, it's <laughs> brothers and sisters. I'm, I'm happy to hear this, I'm very happy to hear this. During his brief visit, Mr. Cameron was given a tour and a brief demonstration of the operations of the Guav Nutmeg Factory. He was also taken to the recently collapsed Hubble Bridge and the St. Peter's RC School. The visit ended with a wreath-laying ceremony at the Botanic Gardens to honor those who died in the wars. Two protocols establishing the Code of Conduct for political parties during development of the National Sustainable Development Plan NSDP 2030 have been signed. The protocols were signed on Thursday by the ruling New National Party and the National United Front, with the signing facilitated by the Steering Committee of the NSDP. Chairman of the Steering Committee, Mr. Timothy Antoine, described the signing as an historic moment for Grenada as the country moves towards answering the urgent calls for nation building. He said the plan seeks to create a safe, non-political space for Grenadians to share their views. It's to create a space that is depoliticized so that people can come to the plan with their ideas, with their hopes, with their dreams, and share them freely and as frequently as they like, without worrying about political labels, without worrying about how they will be perceived, without worrying about whether their party agrees with them or not. While NNP representative, the Honorable Simon Steele is happy that the political parties involved can be mature enough to put the affairs of the country first, NUF leader Glennis Roberts called for more Grenadians to be involved in Grenada's development. The removal of the politics and putting at the forefront our national development. What is in the best interest of the men, women of Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Martinique and putting politics um, in, the, in the background. And this is a sign of maturity. We need to break new barriers. It is time for Grenada to be developed by people and not by political parties fighting each other. The committee will meet later this month, following which the community consultations will commence at a date to be announced. This is the National Report. We will be right back. Listen closely and you will hear what climate change might sound like. Hurricanes getting stronger and more frequent. 
glaciers melting, causing a rise in sea levels. Dry bush burning after a prolonged drought left the bushes vulnerable to fires. What? No water again? But listen closely again and you will hear the solutions. People switching to energy-saving light bulbs. People building stronger homes that can withstand hurricane force winds. Our climate may be changing, but so can we. Making small changes together can have a huge effect on reducing the impacts of climate change. Act now. Sustainability and age inclusiveness in the urban environment. That is the theme of the 2015 International Day of Older Persons, observed on October 1st. The Ministry of Social Development and Housing observes the entire month of October with activities including visits to elderly persons in various communities and geriatric homes, media appearances and school activities. In an address to the nation declaring the month of the elderly open on Thursday, Minister Delma Thomas, under whose portfolio the desk of the elderly falls, highlighted some of the tasks her ministry has undertaken to make the nation's senior citizens' latter years comfortable and rewarding. We are working to ensure that our elderly, who unfortunately because of their advanced age and physical deterioration, cannot properly care for themselves, are cared for. And that is the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall.